hi. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through setting up your own Facebook analytics, Facebook ads spreadsheet, and um, uh, in the end, you'll get something that's very similar to what you're seeing here, uh, which is fully automated. Uh, you don't have to do anything and basically save over 40 hours a month just gathering information from these three uh, accounts. So, uh, to get started, I, um, have gone to the Factivate template library. I've looked for the Facebook ads management template and have downloaded it. And um, this is what I get, right? It's a blank template. There is no information here. I see there's some places for KPIs where I can, as a campaign manager, can add my comments. This just seems like raw data for the ads information. Um, this is, I'm guessing, Google Analytics data if I were you, right? Um, but you don't really know how to start populating all this information. Um, then I, you can keep exploring. Now we're getting just into Facebook ads. I see that this is 14 days. There's something here that says text in blue is manually entered. What that means is anything that is blue, such as these dates, you have to change manually. It's not a formula that will recalculate automatically. Um, so, Keep that in mind. Uh, obviously, this is all blank information, but I see that I like all these KPIs. I, I do want to report on my top campaigns most shared, most liked, most discussed, and then I want my top 10 campaigns published in the last two weeks sorted by engagement with all this raw data because I'm tracking it consistently, right? Um, and I see now that there's another tab for um, posts. Uh, with information that is relevant to me, Facebook fans, how many posts I publish, engage users. Uh, this is something that I track consistently, applause rate, amplification rate, conversation rate uh, for my own um, uh, success metrics. And uh, again, top 25 posts this month that I want to share with my client uh, with this raw data, which ultimately leads me uh, as a campaign manager to... Um, determine the success uh, or failure of a post and iterate on those successes or failures. And if I just want an individual campaign report for one ad because a client asked me, what is the result for this particular campaign? Um, again, you see text in blue, that's where you enter your campaign name. You're gonna select the dates where the campaign started, what were my goals, right? Um, and then all this information will uh, be added automatically. So. To get started, I see this is a template I want. I want to use it. I want to use it to report on my um, on my agency. Uh, it's very simple. We're going to go to the blue tabs and click on a blue tab. There's four of them. You're going to click on the top right here, the Google Analytics for the Google, Google Analytics tab. Authorize, set, and click on the little cloud. If you need a how-to, here are our steps. Right? Then I'm going to go to Facebook ads. Do the same thing, authorize set, cloud, Facebook page, authorize set, cloud, and Facebook pose, authorize set, cloud. That's pretty much it. If I want a 12 month outlook for all of the data, um, particular to Facebook, this is where I'm gonna go. Um, web analytics is included. A lot of times we, we fail to see the link between our Facebook activity and our landing pages or conversion pages, this is a great place for you to do that. So um, that's pretty much it. I, I think that um, the beauty of this is you can start tracking your own KPI. So let's say you don't want a conversation rate, you want you know cost per click, change it, and then you add a formula uh, that references Facebook ads, right? Um, same process as you would in a typical spreadsheet. The one last thing that I uh, suggest you do is you start thinking, see there's a lot of data in this Facebook ads monitoring um, for the last four, uh, two weeks. Uh, you start thinking about your UTM. If, if you haven't implemented a pixel, um, this is a great way for you to track conversions and, and you set up a, a UTM link uh, through Facebook, right? Uh, this essentially checks for that link and it'll give you, you know, what is Facebook reporting and what is Google Analytics actually reporting came from that particular URL. So you start noticing, if you start noticing some discrepancies, you have to figure out 
exactly where those are happening. But it's a really good, useful, uh, you know, top 10 conversion pages that, um, that have helped a lot of people. So that's pretty much it. 